what's up guys today I'm coming at you with my modified tank uh, I did a video not too long ago uh, showing the tank uh, I put a quick connect on the end of it that way I could put other air tools on it uh, I just really wanted it you know I, I got a little T fitting that I can charge the tank uh, if you bear with me I'll try to show you how to fill a tank um, I'm gonna start off with saying I'm gonna try to see if this will take lug nuts off. I mean, I'm just curious. I haven't done it. This will be the first, so if it fails, it fails on camera. I think it'll probably take one off. So pause the video right now and tell me how many lug nuts. I'm gonna try to take five off, well, four, because I'm gonna leave one off. So I'm gonna try to take four lug nuts off. Pause the video and tell me how many lug nuts you think I'll be able to get off. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, here we go. Um, I hadn't done a damn thing to it either. This will be just as new to me as it is, y'all. Let me turn the air on. Ah, shit, I'm tightening. Took them all off. Let's put them back on. It took that other one off too, I'm sure, because I still got pressure in the tank. <laughs> all right, well, I guess it will. It'll take them all off. Uh, I doubt it'd take that other one off now. I can feel the pressure going down, but let's try. Yeah, see, I could probably get five off, but anyway, that's pretty good for what it is. Just stay tuned and I'll show you a little bit more about my design. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I hook the tank up, how I put air in it. I don't have to use that Schrader valve anymore. I just got two mills hooked together. I'm going to hook the daddy in there and I'm going to put my airline for my compressor. <laughs> Throw it in the dirt. Open the tank. And there goes the air compressor. But, uh, it's that simple to fill it up. It should be, uh, Coming about here shortly. Trying to get 120 pounds in it. Alright, that's all. Except for that part. Make sure you <laughs> turn the air off to it. But anyway, that's how you we'll let that air compressor stay on it. Let me wait for that thing to fill up. Alright guys, now what I did while ago, I want to try to explain myself so I don't like a moron, is this quick connect, if you turn it off from here, now see if I would have unhooked the air hose, instead of unhooking the live air hose from it, you wouldn't have got any air loss. And the reason I went with a female fitting on the end of this is because all my tools, my air gun, my air chuck, I got a couple of brad nailers, I got a little thing to spray dust off with. All of, the, of my attachments have male, you know, pieces, the MPT male pieces on it. And that's how I hook up everything. Anyway, I thought this was interesting. I thought I'd share it. Uh, the changing the tire with it it will work i'm really shocked i started out i had the air gun in the wrong position so i wasted air then and then when i went to back it out i had it neutral so i was i believe if i would have just took five off i could have put five back on and it had 50 pounds of air so i could have pumped the tire up if i had to fix a tire out on the road but anyway uh that's my video for the day. It's uh, 
Today's Festivus, uh, if you don't know what Festivus is, Google it. It is on the 23rd. Uh, so we're celebrating Festivus today and got Christmas Eve coming up tomorrow. And then Christmas Day, of course, Monday. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. If this video makes it, I may or may not upload it. I don't know. Uh, my knucklehead neighbors are jamming out with music and in the background, and I don't know how it's going to come out. But anyway, Merry Christmas to everybody. Appreciate you watching. Uh, happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, happy Hanukkah and everything, all, all that stuff. Anyway, we'll talk to you all later. See you.